Grade 5 Math, number 24. Adjust quotients if the estimate is wrong. Sometimes when we estimate a quotient, we are too high or too low. In this one, I estimated 5 to go above the 9 here. 38 can fit into the 249 five times. I tried putting five tens here. That's the one space. And I got 190 when I did the multiplication. 38 times 5 is 190. When I did the subtraction, I got a 59, which is way bigger than this 38. So we didn't subtract a big enough number from the 249. So that tells me that we were too low. We needed to go with a bigger number here. See? When this 59 is bigger than the divisor, when this subtracted uh, difference is bigger than the divisor, then that is too low. We can adjust it by increasing it by 1, okay? If we go up to 6, we see that it's just right. We can continue on with our problem because we got a 21, and that's not bigger than the divisor, see? What I do is, I don't do it up here, I do it off on the side. I would go off on the side on scratch paper, and if I guessed low, it would be off on the side on scratch paper, see? And if I got a 190, and I saw that it was that I could fit another divisor in there, I would just go to the next multiplication. Uh, you know, I would just go up by 1. And if that was too small, I'd try 38 times 7 on the side. That's how I do it, okay? Some people just do it up here and they just erase up here. I prefer to do it off on the side so I don't mess up my problem. If we estimate too high, our product from multiplying will be too big to subtract. If we did 7, here, instead of the 5 or the 6, we end up with 266, which is way too big to subtract from the 249, see? Then we know we went too high. It's way too big to subtract 266 from 249. So we can decrease this by 1 and try it, and it'll be just right, see? But again, if you do the multiplication on the side when you guess, so try guessing 7. Do the multiplication on the side and see if it'll fit. If it's too big, try 6 off on the side, and then that way you won't mess up your paper, see? All right, so it'd sort of be like this. If this was our problem, would we put a 5 or a 6 here? We're trying to fit 27. It won't fit into 1. It won't fit into 17, but it'll fit into 172. But how many times? Should we guess 5 or 6? So if we do a little multiplication on the side, guessing the 5, we get 135, so we know that's too small. And the 6 is 162. That would just about do it, wouldn't it? That would, that would be good. So, whoops, sorry about my focus there. So we could try the 6, see? So even though we're estimating, we could try it on the side, all right? How about this one? How many times can 41 fit into 2? None. 22? None. 224? Hmm. Yeah, it could fit into 224. How many times? 5 or 6? All right, let's do a little math on the side. 41 times 5 is 205. 41 times 6 is 246. Well, that's going to be too big. See, we can see it right away, can't we? So we're going to try the 5, see? So even though I'm doing the math on the side, we're still estimating, okay? So remember, if you estimated too high or too low, it's no big deal. You just adjust it up or down, and you solve it, okay? Just move it by 1. You'll know that... It was too small because the, this subtracted number will be bigger than the divisor, and you know it'll be too big when you can't even subtract because it's too big to subtract after you multiply, see? Okay, we're going to keep talking division. I'll see you next video. Bye.